And that's why when I hear about the black and the Asian community, I feel so sad about that because I think that there's a way to which we've been really used, used to put down black people, you know, especially in the L.A. riots, you know. The poor little Korean grocer, if only the blacks could work as hard as us with such great family values, you know, look what they get. Then the black people beat them up, burn down their stores, you know, and the fact, the fact of it was we were both being exploited. We've been both taught to be really scared of each other. It's, 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 I mean, it hits me here, you know, because I mean, many of you know because my mother was murdered by an African-American man. And I can be just as angry and buy into my father's stereotypes about African-American men. But I knew where he was headed with that. I knew where he was headed. That all African-American men murder and kill. And he wanted me to pass that on to my child. But I know the stories he told me about the racism that's happened to us. And somehow I just want him, I just want to say, remember what happened to us. Just remember what happened to us happens to everybody else. And I know he wanted somebody to stop that. He wanted another Asian man to stand up for him. He wanted another black man to stand up for him. And maybe another white man to stand up for him. <laughs>